Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk When the narcissist realizes they shouldn't have hurt you. The narcissist did a lot of things to you. They manipulated, love bombed, lied, future faked, devalued, blamed, gaslighted and discarded you. And at times they may even have come back to hoover you, which caused a lot of trouble for you. And you may have been in far better condition before all of that, to where you were a far greater source of supply to them. And of course, we know that. We know that before the narcissist does all of these negative things to us, we are in a far better position to serve them and to give them what they want. But do they realize that? Does it ever cross their mind? Do they even think about it? Do they recognize that it's not good? Do they feel the need to apologize? Do they take responsibility and try to correct it? No, they don't do that. They lack affective empathy, so they don't feel what you feel, but they do know what they've done. They understand that it's wrong, but they're very arrogant and entitled, so they feel like they can do whatever they want. And if someone gets hurt along the way, it's not their fault. But at some level, they may recognize that it's their responsibility to make amends. However, that only fuels their narcissism even more because it reminds them of their inadequacy and their inability to perform. So it just makes them even more mad, even more bitter and resentful. And they fight it. They push those feelings away because they have to be right. If they're wrong, then they have to make amends and they're incapable of doing that. They don't even have the means. So it just makes them feel inadequate. It's too overwhelming for them to deal with. So instead, they bury it within. They bottle it up. They live in denial. But the more times that they are confronted with these issues or situations where they did something wrong or they affected someone's life in a negative way, it's like shaking a bottle of Coca-Cola. It's only a matter of time until it explodes. And this is why they're like loose cannons. It's why they're always on edge. It's why any little thing could set them off because they know the wrong that they've done. They know the damage they've caused, but they're in denial so they don't want to be reminded of it because it triggers their shame. And all they're concerned about is their feelings about themselves, their false image. And of course, any wrongdoing that they've committed is going to affect that image. It's going to affect the distorted way in which they see themselves. Which is why they will avoid thinking about it. And instead they will try to distract themselves with addictions and escapism. Or by projecting their insecurities and shifting the blame onto you. Because it allows them to dodge the shame. If they can get you to focus on yourself. Rather than you pointing the finger at them. So they literally have to live a lie. They have to disconnect from themselves and their own emotions. And this is why they're so miserable. It's why they're so impulsive and reckless. It's why any little thing could set them off to where they fly into a rage. Because they've buried it within. They've bottled it up. So at any moment they could explode. But even then, 
all of these feelings are for themselves. They don't care about you. They don't care about anyone. So you're not going to get an apology. They're not even going to acknowledge that they've done anything wrong because they're in denial. And denial is an essential trait of narcissistic personality disorder. The disorder cannot function without denial. Because if they were not in denial and they accepted their wrongdoing, then that means that they could change. But they are in denial. And that is why you're not going to get an apology, as you're not going to get any closure, which are two things that you may need to move forward in your life. Because they may be the very things that are preventing and restricting your progress and development to where you're just looking for answers. And once you've got the answers that you're looking for, then you can finally move on. But you're never going to get that from a narcissist because they can't be vulnerable and they don't want to take accountability because that means shame and it means they're inadequate. It means that they have to deal with the consequences and they do not want to deal with that. So they choose to live a lie to where they are shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. Because otherwise, if they took responsibility for their actions, it would mean that they would have to change or be better in some way. Which is why they're not going to offer that information to you. Because they already know that they can't change. They know that they can't be better. And many of them may not even care. Because they lack self-awareness and intuitive knowledge. Which would otherwise allow them to offer remorse for what they have done. But although they may not feel anything for you. They do feel a lot of guilt and shame. And in fact, they feel far more guilt and shame than a normal person because they deny and suppress it, which only causes it to perpetuate because what we resist persists and it has power over us. It dictates our thoughts, feelings, actions and behavior from that moment onwards. So what they did to you, although they denied it and pretended to move on without the care, actually impacts and controls the rest of their life, whether they know it or not. But they're not going to reveal that to you. And in fact, they're going to orchestrate the situation so that you don't get to see it. Because the last thing a narcissist wants to do is appear vulnerable. They want to appear strong and self-assured but they're actually disconnected from themselves and their emotions. Which is how they can so easily detach from their behaviors and what they've done. They lie because they know that what they've done is wrong. They know that they are involved in something, but they don't want to take responsibility. And they don't want you to know that they know because that would make them look weak and vulnerable. It would make them feel inadequate. So they don't want to show you how they're feeling. Which is why they will deflect their guilt and shame onto you. And deny the fact that they have these toxic behaviors. Even though you know and you can see it. And you may have all of the evidence in the world. They're still going to deflect it. To avoid conscious conflict or anxiety because it's too overwhelming for them to deal with. They know it's a battle they cannot win, so they don't even try to fight it. But they do know that what they're doing is wrong, and they understand that their behavior implies certain suggestions, and yet they still do it, which may seem like an act of stupidity and senselessness, but it's actually because they lack empathy. So they don't have the mental bandwidth the cognitive capacity and ability to pay attention, make decisions, stick with their plans, and resist temptations. So they're completely disconnected from themselves, and they don't want to take responsibility. So they're not going to consciously regret what they've done to you. They're not even going to take a moment to think about it, 
because that would make them feel bad about themselves and it would put them at a disadvantage. It would inhibit the functioning of their disorder, which is maladaptive and self-destructive. So instead, they're going to deflect the blame onto you because they don't want to be triggered and they don't want to show that they are vulnerable because although you may be able to do that, they can't find the strength within themselves. So all they're concerned about is if they can get away with it because they lack empathy, which is why all they're going to do is deflect. But if they do something to you and you don't respond in the way that they had hoped and expected, then they will project their insecurities or deficiencies onto you. And they will say that you did something wrong, which is how smear campaigns begin. Because it's all about creating this facade where everyone thinks that you're the problem and there's something wrong with you. When it's just to deflect all of the focus, attention and blame away from the narcissist. And it's very childish and immature because they're not even looking at their own behavior or identifying how that could affect another person. They're not even thinking about that. They're never going to think that they need to change. They're only ever going to blame you because they do not take responsibility for anything that they do. And that's why it's easier for them to walk away because then they don't have to be accountable for anything. They can just discard themselves and they can discard you. And then they can go into a new situation with someone else who isn't going to hold them accountable. Which means that it's all fake because that's not who they really are. As our behaviors are connected to our identity. So if they denied their behaviors and they didn't take accountability for what they did, they're essentially rejecting and discarding their own true identity again and again. And this is how they become a shell of a person, an empty meat suit with no values or morals who could just change from one moment to the next. Which is why they're never going to own up to anything they do. They're just drifting through life, putting all of the focus on you. Because the last thing they want is to be themselves. They already know that would put them at a huge disadvantage. Which is how you should know that the smear campaign is not your fault and it's not your job to fix everything because it doesn't even make any sense how one person could always be to blame for everything while everyone else is faultless that's how you should already know that it's all fake because that just doesn't happen in reality other people do things wrong other people make mistakes. It's never just you. But that's how they portray it. Because they're trying to cover up the fact that they're actually a lot worse. And that's really the whole purpose of it. And because of the extent they go to, to create this illusion, it just makes it even more obvious. Because it's clear that it's their only motivation to make themselves appear faultless and blameless when it's all a lie, it's all fake. And that is why they're so miserable because they can't take accountability. So they can't even be themselves, which means they can't generate their own power and energy from within. And that's why they're so heavily dependent on you as their source of supply because you're held accountable for everything even things that you haven't even done which gives you a lot of power 
because you're constantly learning and correcting things. You're constantly trying to make everything right while they just become degenerates because they have to degrade everything to maintain this facade which is why as time goes by the tables turn and it becomes more and more obvious who was right and who was wrong because if they just stopped and tried to make things right it would be clear to everyone that they were the problem all along which is why the only thing they can do is blame you they really have no other option other than to hang themselves but even when they're blaming you they're not really looking for you to improve anything they don't even care they're quite comfortable laying in their own filth all they're worried about is your reaction because that's what fuels them so that's what they're looking for they just want you to validate their false self they want you to feel bad about yourself because that's what brings them pleasure from knowing that you care from knowing that it's affecting you and other than that they don't really care about anything which is why they're never going to tell you what's wrong because they don't want things to be better they just want to put you down and make you feel bad because all they're concerned about is the facade as long as things look a certain way they're okay with it because then they can get reactions and it fuels this illusion they're not worried about actually being anything for real thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narc survivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon